there are many people who are doing wonderful work to protect nature. Most of them do it in the individual capacity at micro level. Nevertheless, their work is very significant. Echo Wheel brings to you such stories. Hello Sahira, we're really happy to have you here and we're really excited to know how has this journey of yours started? Thank you Srinidhi. The journey, journey started in 2017. In the gated community I stay where there are independent houses with lots of trees, which is rich in green wealth. Um, there were a lot of complaints from residents on cutting down trees because of different reasons. So I started with a green club for children to educate them and make them aware of the importance of this green wealth. So what was the nature of complaints you were receiving? Oh, nature of complaints, complaints were like everything against trees, you know, leaf drop, bats, clean, unclean, you know, droppings of bat, everything was becoming a nuisance to people. So there was pressure on cutting down trees. So that was like, you know, kind of putting an end to the green belt. So you told us you began a children's club. Why did you begin a children's club? Good question. Uh, because all the complaints that were coming were all from the parents, the adults, right? And adults, it is not easy to teach them or change them or bring awareness in them. So I realized that it is the youngsters who are going to be the future torchbearers who need to become responsible adults. That's the reason why I targeted children and youngsters. Uh, after a few years, I came across a WhatsApp message in which a boy who throws starfishes is stopped by a man saying that there's so many starfish, how will you save them? He takes a starfish, he throws it in the water and he says, I've made a difference to this one, if not others. But that line actually triggered me. And that's how I started my initiative, which is active now. So could you please share us something about your present initiatives? Yeah, my initiative is called Garden Yard. Okay, this started about two years back. Uh, I started during COVID and I had about 35 plus webinars for children and mothers, and for everybody, uh, on various areas of gardening and sustainability. Plus, I have been having stalls to spread awareness, especially children-related circles and all that. So I've been promoting sustainable living and also focusing on gardening as not as uh, something to decorate or you know, uh, improve the ambience of the house, but to create an ecosystem within your house. Did this initiative of yours help you dissolve the resistance you got from parents? Yes, to a great extent because uh, to connect to children, I realized that I have to connect to mothers, parents especially mothers. And uh, what better way to connect to mothers than to talk about gardening. So that's how it became Garden Yard. Okay, so I have a WhatsApp group of around 200. Most of them are women. Mm -hmm. And there are children as well. So they share a lot of their problems in their houses. Garden issues, queries. And I handle all those queries. I am, there are a couple of volunteers, youngsters who also handle. Um, that's how I've been able to. So now we have an active group of adults in our group. Mostly mothers. It's good to know that you've started a WhatsApp group for gardening and dissolved a lot of resistance from the parents. So what else is a part of this initiative? Is it just gardening? Gardening was not the actual purpose of starting this group. It was mainly sustainability, sustainable living. And the focus audience that I had selected was children. Now to connect to children, I had to connect to parents, especially mothers. And to connect to mothers, I have to start with something which is, you know, mm. something that can interest them. So it started off with that. But my stalls and all have been more about sustainable living. So in the stalls, I, I display all the products that I've collected, which are eco-friendly, so that we can change our practices in our houses. There are so many, almost everything can be eco-friendly at home. Mm. Right? So when you start living that and it becomes a culture in your house, then you're looking at a macro level. Even gardening is more to create an ecosystem. There are butterflies, there are honeybees, there are insects which are beneficial. That's the macro level vision. When you say stalls, what are these actually about? Okay, uh, these stalls are about all eco-friendly products, sustainable products. Uh, I have all kinds of eco-friendly products, I mean, most of them that are available in the market. I spent a lot of time in collecting all of them. 
so that each of us can replace some of our habits which are not eco-friendly into eco-friendly habits. So that's how slowly I can bring about sustainable practice in the houses. So are these just for a display or do you actually sell stuff? I've had both kind of stalls. Mm -hmm. I've had stalls which were exclusively for awareness purpose and there were stalls which were awareness plus sale because mm -hmm. many of them ask, mm -hmm. are you going to sell this, are you going to sell this. So in that I have uh, all products, I also have a lot of plants along with this. So just like any other eco-friendly. It's good to know that people are actually interested yes, in yes. sustainable products. Yes, people are taking interest. Yeah. So yes. how do you Even children, it? in fact I have, from my experience of the stalls, I have seen children by default are connected to nature. Mm -hmm. Mud, uh, you know, wood, yeah. these kind of things, they are very very excited. Right? And they ask a lot of interesting questions. Many times they are stopped by the parents, but by default they are connected to nature. Let's live in and live behind a better world. Uh, so everyone who's seen this video and taken away something, please do leave a like and please hit the subscribe button. And also, if you want to connect with the gardening team that Sahira has initiated, we will leave all the details in the description. So please do take out your time and do that as well. Yeah. Connect with Garden Yard and help me connect you to nature. Are you feeling a little bit humid? Yeah, it's kind of suffocating. have been here for a long time. Well, here at Babel NGO, we have a solution for this.